Hello, you guys. Let's talk about Chapter 8, Lesson 6, the Pythagorean Theorem. All right, so the Pythagorean Theorem has everything to do with right triangles. Can you look in the margin right here? And a right triangle, obviously a triangle has three sides, but a right triangle makes this right angle. Two of the sides form this perfect right angle. So the hypotenuse, which is a weird word, hypotenuse is the longest side. And that you'll see I used uh, green. And so the hypotenuse is always the longest side of a right triangle. Now the legs are the two sides that form that right angle. So I used red to show you one leg and blue to show you the other leg. And for any right triangle, a squared plus b squared equals c squared. So um, the Pythagorean theorem, it says for any right triangle, the sum of the squares of the lengths of the legs, so a squared and b squared, has to equal the length of the hypotenuse. Back. What did you just say? Okay, all right, so Gunnar is chasing our cat for a straw. Okay, so look here, the Pythagorean theorem. In algebra, a squared plus b squared equals c squared. For numbers, look at this right triangle. 3 squared plus 4 squared has to equal 5 squared, so a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Okay, let's find the length of the hypotenuse. Now, I'm going to ask you to change what the book gave you. They just gave you incredibly hard numbers. I want you to cross out the 15 and make it 5 feet, and cross out the 26 and make it 12 feet, okay? So let's draw the triangle here. So 12 feet, 5 feet, and then C. The hypotenuse is missing. So notice how the 12 feet and the 5 feet, make sure you put this right angle symbol because they're the legs. So we know that a squared plus b squared equals c squared. So let's substitute the 5 in for the a, just because it's the smallest leg, the 12 in for the b, because it's the biggest leg, and then the c squared we don't know. So 5 squared is 25 plus 12 squared is 144 equals c squared. We'll add up the 25 and the 144, and that gives you 169 equals c squared. Now to get the c by itself, we have to take the square root of both sides. So you want to use the square root table that I gave you in class to help you, or hopefully you remember the square root of 169 is 13, that's a perfect square, and the square root of c squared, remember the square root chops the power of 2 in half to just give you c. So 13 equals c, so the hypotenuse would be 13 feet. Okay, so let's practice this. Look at guided practice number one. Find the length of the hypotenuse of a right triangle with legs, and I want you to cross out their number and put 9 meters, cross out the other one and put 12 meters. Okay, and let's draw it right here, right triangle, draw it in the margin, put that right angle symbol, and we're going to make this side 12 meters, we're going to make the bottom 9 meters, and C is missing, the hypotenuse is missing. So always start off with A squared plus B squared equals C squared. Now I'm going to plug in the 9 for the A just because it's the smallest side. So 9 squared plus, put the 12 in for B because it's the other leg, 12 squared equals C squared. So 9 squared is 81 plus 12 squared is 144 equals C squared. Well the numbers are on the same side of the equal sign so just add them up like it's telling you. So you get 225 equals C squared. And now take the square root on both sides because we have to figure out what C is. So the square root of 225 is just 15. Bring down the equals. The square root of C squared is just C. So the hypotenuse is 15 meters. Okay, and I want you to add one more thing. I want you to lightly cross off example 2, but then I want you to tell me what my son Gunner was trying to get from the cat. Okay, the cat took something from him earlier. So tell me right here next to example 2 in your note-taking guide. Okay, now for any right triangle, a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Now if you plug in all three of the numbers and both sides match, they're both equal, then it is a right triangle. So take a look at example four. Look at um, a. They told us that the side a was 12, b was 16, and c was 20. And they just want us to tell them if this forms a right triangle. So start off with a squared plus b squared equals c squared. And let's plug in 12 for A, 16 for B, and 20 for C. And now we have to do a little math. 
12 to the second power is 144, copy the plus. 16 to the second power is 256, copy the equal sign. 20 to the second power is 400. And now we just add up 144 plus 256, and we get 400. So 400 matches 400. They're equal. So you'd say, yes, it is a right triangle. Take a look at B. They want us to use 9 for A, 15 for B, and 18 for C. So I always start off with A squared plus B squared equals C squared. I plug in the 9 for A, the 15 for B, and the 18 for C. And now 9 to the second power is 81, copy the plus. 15 to the second power is 225, copy the equal sign. 18 to the second power is 324. Now add up 81 and 225, and you get 306. Well, 306 does not match 324. They are not equal. So put an equal sign with a slash through it. And then we would answer, no, these sides do not form a right triangle.